We will show you a lot of teaching of Muhammad in Al-Quran which against Bible. Bro, God is consistent in the Bible throughout the ages. Only Muhammad bring his new teaching which not align with the whole Bible. Alright, so this is interesting. And number one, he want to show um, the teaching of Muhammad in the Al-Quran which is against the Bible. So number one, why would I care about that? Right? Why would I care if Prophet Muhammad SAW, his teaching is against the Bible because I don't accept the Bible as a representative of the truth or from God. So why would I care if it contradicts the Bible? Right? That number one. And then number two, he said God is consistent in the Bible throughout ages. Uh, I'm not sure what consistent means here. Is it consistent in the, the message or consistent in term of what? I'm not sure. And only Muhammad bring his new teaching. So this is interesting because if he claimed that the Bible is, is consistent and Muhammad is the only one bring new teaching, um, if, you, if you see the Bible as Old Testament and New Testament, right? And if you see that the Jews that 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 have the or um, believe in the Old Testament, uh, while they do not believe believe in New Testament to my knowledge, and Christian says that Old and New Testament is is the full package, right? So um, there's there's already discrepancy there between meaning if you say the New Testament, the, does the Jews accept New Testament? If they don't, then it's not only Muhammad is the one that brings new, right? Because they, from Jewish perspective, Judaism perspective, a Christian already brings something new in the New Testament. Is, is that accurate to say? Or does the Judaism accept the New Testament as a valid and they accept it to be a valid you know, holy scripture as well? To my knowledge, they don't, right? Hence, um, they, I, I don't know, meaning that from the perspective, because if you are keep saying, uh, because you are saying the Bible, right? You are not saying Christian. From Christian, of course, you are saying that the, it's consistent because Judaism is the one that have the problem, etc. But if you are talking about the book, then uh, the New Testament is already bringing something new. And then why are you pointing out at Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam? I'm, I'm not sure. Anyway, so there's some, some discussion that ensues this one. So here I ask, for a Muslim or a non-Christian for that matter, the Bible is not the basis of foundation upon which we build everything else or evaluate against uh, the Bible. So if you say to a Muslim that their teaching is different than the Bible, or if you say that same thing to atheist or Hindu, why would they care about that, right? We couldn't care less. Unless you first establish why they should actually accept the Bible as something that is valid to be based upon. So that's, that's my comment there. Uh, I think you can understand the same thing if a Hindu comes to you and say the Bible is not teaching the same as the Vedas. Hence the Bible is wrong. Such statement means little to you, right? So I'm just painting a picture why for me, when you say something like that, why do I care? Right? Just like... Would you care if a Hindu say that? Right. Now, and then he replied, The problem is that Muhammad uses majority all prophet from the Bible and he dared to claim as prophet aligned with the Bible while he is not. Uh, claim as prophet aligned with the Bible. So, Muhammad SAW do not claim to be prophet aligned with the Bible. I... I'm not sure whether he misunderstood something to say so to say this, because Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentioning those those prophets. He claimed those are prophets, right? He doesn't claim that um, this is because of the Bible. That's number one, and not I even the Bible is different because I have in, in other comments, right? Some people keep uh, educate me basically, saying that Adam is not considered as prophet based on the Bible or Christianity, right? Because in Islam, he's the first prophet. So, even if you say that is already a different, fundamental different, right? you, you, you call Adam a prophet, we don't. So, from the beginning then, it's not the same and trying to claim part of the Bible, right? Because we make different claim. Prophet Muhammad make different claim than the Bible. Um, 
he's not even qualified to talk about God in the Bible. So, I think there's a misunderstanding from the perspective of certain Christian as if Islam or Prophet Muhammad SAW want to be part of the Bible or part of the legacy of the Bible. I, 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 I don't understand where that comes from. Perhaps you just think because there are similarities, hence you want to join the party. I, I, I'm, I'm not sure what's the, the, what's the, you know, what's the source of this misunderstanding. Because uh, as if Muhammad want to qualify uh, to talk about God in the Bible, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam want to want to become want to prove it, that he is a prophet of God, not 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 anything about the Bible. Right. Uh, Bible written by more than 40 authors talking about God in different time, different era, in different environment, yet they are connected to each other until Jesus come. I'm not sure uh, what this means. They are connected to each other until Jesus come. Meaning that once Jesus come, they are no longer connected or what? Um, but Muhammad, the only person claim almost everything from Bible, yet his life, his character... To so I'm not sure, I I'm not sure what Christian some Christian have in mind when they say Muhammad claim and then they link to the Bible. Muhammad claim link to the Bible. Uh, I I'm, I cannot imagine what's the the source of such misunderstanding. Hindu Buddhism never claim anything from the Bible. Uh, only Muhammad did. Yet Muhammad is not qualified at all from Bible perspective and teaching. So Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam claim about the previous prophet, right? Never claim about the Bible and want to be part of the Bible. Anyway, just curious, is this, is that, if that is how you see things, would it be valid as well to say that Christianity do the same thing to Judaism and then suddenly create a new religion with new faith? And then, there's a comment. Okay, this is from different person, suddenly. Christian and Judaism are aligned, both holding the same Old Testament which Judaism called Tanakh. Uh, the reason Judaism haven't accepted Jesus as the Messiah because their understanding of Messiah. Okay, so this is the discussion with regard to the differences, right? Uh, if uh, if it only God, uh, we don't need Islam. If it is only to believe God is one and only, we don't need Islam. Old Testament is enough talking about that. But Bible is all about how God revealed himself and how he established his relationship with men. Muhammad suddenly come out of his own ideology and teaching which against the Bible. So again, about this one, I'm not sure why some Christians still want to emphasize when I have already said I, I, I couldn't care less if it is aligned with the Bible. In fact, given that we meaning for those who don't believe bible is actually from god uh, we <laughs> we would be f we how to say we would be more fearful i'm not sure is that uh, a correct word to use that if it exactly become like the bible rather than it is different uh, so here I did misunderstand the first time uh, I read uh, about his statement Christian and Judaism are aligned. What do you mean? To my knowledge, the very fundamental belief on God is not compatible between one another, right? Uh, one believing Jesus in God is God, one rejects such idea. And then he replied, of course they don't believe Jesus is God because they haven't accepted Injil and still waiting for the Messiah, right? So to me that's not aligned. They have have uh, referring to the same book is one thing right it's not aligned it's just we 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 consider the same book as a valid book that's that's basically the uh, it's more of um overlapping something right not not really aligned to to uh, i'm not sure if just th this is just the use of words right um so it means that Jewish people have different interpretation about the Bible, which is divided into Judaism and Christianity. Uh, while Muhammad has nothing to do with both, don't understand the Bible, yet he claims so lot about himself. Uh, again, I'm not sure. I, I think Christians have set this criteria, right? And others have to fall into their criteria. And they could not 
understand when some people outside says we are not going in uh, we are not going based on that criteria w w and then they they cannot compute that they still but still if you are true you must meaning you are only true if meaning they, they have that that as that already established and they cannot comprehend other people that do not have the same foundation as they they have right that's the best way i can understand why they keep going back into the thing that we have said that from the very beginning why is that the foundation uh is it accurate to say that what you said is accepted by christian but rejected by those in judaism meaning the whole narrative because they say judaism is mistaken why 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 right so obviously I assume Christian accept that narrative, but Judaism says no. The Christian is the one that is has deviated, right? Um, okay, I understand the point you tra uh, uh, that you say, but my question was about align. Okay, this is uh, already about the alignment, etc. Right? Um, and then, okay. On the last statement, Muhammad do not claim to be following the Bible. He just claimed to be a prophet of God. So I'm not sure why you put a requirement of the Bible into his claim. And then this is the last com uh, comment, I believe. You can't simply call yourself prophet. There are fundamental criteria. Who is the eyewitness of Muhammad to be prophet? So what is the exact meaning of this? Because I have heard someone before say this as well. Right? What is the eyewitness? Meaning... The eyewitness of the episode of Revelation, is, is that what it means? Or witness of what? Because the witness of Muhammad SAW being a prophet throughout the 23 years, there's a lot of witness there, including many episodes that indicate or highlight or that or reinforce the fact that he is a prophet. So what exactly do you mean or Christian mean when they say eyewitness of someone being a prophet? What exactly does it mean? I'm, I'm, maybe it's a new concept that I have never come across. Muhammad claimed himself by mentioning prophecy of the Bible. This is also an interesting statement. Right? What do you mean by this? When? Which, which event are you, are you referring to with this one? Um, they are the closest that I can think of that might be the reason why you say this is when there are some um, Jewish uh, people that want to test the prophet asking him whether he know the, the three stories of I'm not mistaken right and then Muhammad SAW wait for revelation and the revelation sh uh, share to him uh, or God share to him the stories and he he, he conveyed it right? and um, with that answer uh, the demand is that what you mean here or something else uh, Jews and Christian align with the book uh, both sides are holding the entire book uh, the only thing the only thing Jews and Christians argue about is the, fu uh, the fulfillment of Messiah prophecy, which is according to Christian is Jesus, right? But is that the only thing that uh, is the difference? Because the fact that Jesus is claimed to be God is so fundamental, right? And so big. Isn't that part of the differences as well? Right? Because in Jewish idea, they do not have a human called Jesus being God and hence you have the Trinity etc right so that's fundamental right it's not just the Messiah right anyway and interestingly Muslim accept Jesus as the Messiah right? we call it uh, Al-Masih in Sabin Maryam the Messiah Jesus uh, son of Mary uh, anyway um, Muhammad can be a prophet. He's not from the children of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So um, this is a requirement from who actually? When you say prophet must be son of Israel, basically Bani Israel, right? So this is a requirement from who? If it's based on the Bible again, so we keep circling there. Uh, uh, <laughs> that's a requirement for you then. Um, but what is interesting? I think what is interesting because the discussion of why there are the Jewish tribe in Medina, right? Because uh, they are waiting for the last prophet, uh, basically the Messiah. Then uh, they are still waiting, right? Um, w the 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 point of contention that they have is suddenly because it is uh, not from within Bani Israel, right? It's from different lineage. Uh, 
So I'm not sure whether they anticipate it because they are hoping or because they feel it is a criteria of because of something. And the worst part is Mama claim his name is in the Bible prophecy while it's not and his teaching and his life. Right? Okay. In terms of the name, I think I, I'm interested to see because there are people forwarding and um, I'm not prepared for that now about the video with regard to the rabbi of, uh, of Judaism that that uh, confirm the name is in there etc right so I'm, I'm not well versed in that but I have seen some of the view like in that because the Christian normally are the one that that say that Muhammad the, the name is never being mentioned uh, some Muslim says uh, certain example to say that this is where it is mentioned, and I think uh, some people show that the from the Jewish uh, Judaism, the rabbi say that it is that is indeed true in the same the, the name that is being so. But, but because I just read here and I'm not well versed in that discussion, so maybe sometime in the future we will go into it. Anyway, so that's it um, for this back and forth. Uh, anything you, that you wish to add, especially anything that I missed, uh, feel free to comment. Thank you for watching. See you next time.